Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I organized all my DVDs and Blu-rays in order to save space. It involves super cool sleeves and you'll find a link to them in the description below. You'll also have the access to my free SVG files of the tabs I made to organize them alphabetically. Of course, I had to follow the movie team and make them look like vintage marquee signs. So let's see right now how I made them. First of all, we're going to go and upload the file like usual. You're going to click on upload, upload image, browse it, and you're going to go get it where you uh, classified it uh, from Manelli Design libra Library. And my file always have an SVG. If I put it as a list, you're going to see it. It always have a dash SVG at the end. So you take this one, you open it, and then you save it and you click on the file and you go insert image. So here it is. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And as always, the first thing to do with my files, you go and ungroup it. And you'll notice that you have two uh, yellow um, pieces. That's normal. It's just that one's going to go in the front of the divider and the other one's going to go in the back. So it's going to be more solid that way. Okay, so the only thing we need to do, because everything is really ready to cut, the only thing I want to do is to write the text in it. And just in order to show you, I'm going to make a square. First, I want to make the square. That is, um, let's unlock it. That will be 7.5 by 6. That's the size of the, the cardstock that's going to be acting as dividers. So it's I won't be cutting it with my Cricut because it's 6 inch and I want to use all the paper so I can use either an 8 uh, by 14 or 12 by 12 and it will go, um, will take all the paper. So it's, it's not worth it to cut it with my Cricut. It's going to be easier to cut it by hand. And as many of you might know, I hate that color, so I'm going to have to put it right white. I'm sorry about that. So let's put it in the back. Right click and send to back. And I just want to show you that if I zoom out, you're going to notice I'm going to be putting uh, the tabs one over there, the other one there, the other one there, and the other one there. Uh, so it's like we see we can see them all. You'll see in the later on. So the first tab is going to be a bit over uh, this white cardstock because I want the yellow to be in the front and the other one to be in the back so it's solid like I said before so I want to make sure that my letters are not all the way to the bottom okay now so let's write A to B and I forgot a little space right here you'll see why it's important later this font doesn't show it but so you select the font and you go and um, the font I use is called Limelight. It's a free font that I downloaded. So if you don't really already have it on your computer, see, I just search it and it's Limelight right here. I think it's pretty cute and vintage. So if you don't already have it in your computer and you install it, you'll need to um, start uh, Cricut Design Space all over again because you'll need to close it and open it back because it won't show. So I want to make sure that my letters, I will be able to see the letters when um, they're all stacked on top of the others. So if it goes there, I won't see it. So now that's about the size I want it, but it's touching the stars. So I'm going to uh, reduce the letter spacing between the letters. Yeah, that's obvious. <laughs> and so let's go like this until you think it's to your satisfaction and now I want to tell Cricut Design Space to print these letters on the first yellow uh, cardstock so this one and holding shift I'm selecting this one and I'm going to flatten them so you see now Cricut Design Space knows it has to cut and print this but if I go ahead and make it you see it's yellow. So now what's, what Cricut Design Space does is printing on a white sheet of paper some yellow ink with black writings on it. That's not what I want. Uh, I have a Cricut Maker so I can, I'm able to print and cut 
with the colored cardstock. So if you have an Explorer Air, you might have difficulty doing that because the Explorer Air has trouble um, print and cut on colored cardstock. It has to be white or maybe um, some soft colors. So if you have some uh, toned down colors, maybe it will work. You can try it. If you have an Explore Air, or maybe you want to use your pen because you don't have a, uh, a printer, what you can do, let me just go back like this, is again, instead of printing this one, you're going to go here and you're going to say uh, draw. So this, of course, the drawing with the pen, it doesn't color the letters. I'm really hopeful that one day we're going to be able to select this right here and go ahead and say fill the letters, but... We're not there yet. So you're going to be um, drawing the letters and coloring them with your hands, unfortunately. But you still need to tell Cricut Design Space to uh, that you want the letters to be drawn on uh, this yellow uh, cardstock. So you're going to be selecting this one and you're going to go and attach them. So when you go and hit Make It, Cricut Design Space will note that you want to cut these ones and write this. So I'm going to do the lazy method and print it. Like I said before, you need to select both layers, but I don't want to print in yellow. So I'm going to tell Cricut Design Space that this one is white, even though I'm going to use a yellow cardstock. And I'm going to select the limelight letter and I'm going to go and flatten. So now what happens is that Cricut Design Space knows that I want to print and cut this one, but it doesn't know I'm going to put inside a yellow cardstock, but I, that's okay. And it's going to cut, even though you don't see the cut, it will cut just perfectly. So let's go ahead and do it. I will do all the letters I need to, so you see what happens. So first of all, I bought some cardstock at Michael's, of course, with the 50% off discount. Never buy anything at Michael's without that discount. Uh, I'm cutting the yellow cardstock to eight and a half by 11 inches so it can fit in my printer. And you'll see that it's pretty easy to follow. You just send it to printer and select your printer and then print. When you get it, it's perfect and you just need to put it in your Cricut. It's that easy. So for myself, I have two uh, mat. It's pretty awesome to have two mats because you can uh, prepare the second one while the first one is cutting. And the same thing happens when the first one is finished cutting. You see it's really beautifully cut. I can put the second mat in while I'm taking off what's on the first mat. So I like to be efficient like that. <laughs> So once everything is cut, um, I need to tell you that you'll need to use, for the red and the blue, you'll need to use the intricate cut setting because it's pretty small and uh, it will be harder to cut. So you really need to use that setting to cut those little tiny pieces. And I just bought this glue pen that I really love. I bought it for my son, but I'm amazed how it's perfect for those little pieces. So I will link to it you know, on my blog if you want to know what, what it is. And of course, I know myself, I'm going to be losing all these stars if I don't do something about it. So I just uh, put them in this little dish that my daughter made. So that's a little trick for you to do too. This cardstock uh, is the white one that was going to be for the dividers. It's I had cut them previously with my slice at 7.5 seven by 6. So that's the size of the sleeves, a little bit uh, higher than the sleeves. And I want to put the tabs, like I told you before, to position 1, 2, 3, or 4. So I'm counting at which one is going to go where, because I want them to be in uh, sequence. So U and Z will be the last one, and I have 8 tabs, so it's going to be in position 4. And just to make sure you see the letters, I tested it with a sleeve. So that was perfect. Always test before. You don't want to have to unglue everything. And now you're going to see the second uh, yellow cardstock is going in the back. So it's really solid and it won't move like that way. 
So once everything is done, I thought that they were a bit blank, so I wanted to add some pop to it. So I used that uh, red um, cardstock that I had. So I sliced what was uh, already cut and I kept the, the left part. And I measured how uh, much uh, millimeters or inches that the tabs were on the dividers. And then I, I used my um, folding, because I have two blades. I have one blade that cuts and one blade that folds. That's really uh, useful. So I used the folding blade to make a line, and then I used the cutting blade to cut the pieces. And as you can see, it's really folding easily that way. And what I'll do, I'll just glue this uh, each side of the tabs. So I'm adding some glue on the left and on the right both sides and I'm just applying this little um, stripe of paper right there. I need to hold it a bit so the glue sticks really well. Once it sticks, I just use my scissors and cut the leftover. That's really easier than measuring and really more precise. So now I'm doing that for all of my tabs and I thought it really looked better that way. So now you see there's only the red part that's above the sleeve. And if I tried it with the white, I thought it was bah, not really good. So that's it, guys. I hope uh, you uh, enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you later.